achieve the healthiest hair that's also really full of volume and definition, then keep watching. Hi fairies! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup Fairy and today I am sharing with you my complete hair routine that gives me this full healthy volume complemented by really shiny hair. I've gotten a few questions about my hair routine in the past and this is the day I finally reveal it all. And because it's a summer hair routine, this is going to focus on detoxing our hair and on making it really full of volume. Just like with makeup or skincare, the base is maybe the most important step. And I'm talking about pre-wash treatments. Lately, I have been using the Fable and Main hair oil. This is a pre-wash treatment. Because especially in summer, oiling your roots can seem kind of scary. Because is that going to make your hair greasy faster? Not with this product. Now I can't fully review the growth benefits yet because I've been only using it for a month or two. And even though I've noticed my hair growing a bit faster than normal, I still want to test it out before giving my final verdict. But so far for a summer routine, this oil is perfect because it nourishes your scalp, it nourishes your roots and that guarantees you healthy hair overall. This is without making the roots heavy or too oversaturated with product. That's the pre-wash treatment, which is obviously optional. The crucial step in your hair wash routine is actually your shampoo. When I last got a haircut, my hairdresser told me how you're actually supposed to change your shampoo every six weeks so that your hair doesn't get too used to it and it's not really doing much anymore. So to ensure that your product is fully effective, you have to alternate between a few. And now obviously this isn't ideal, I know, but in experimenting with multiple shampoos, I found the best ones for summer. The best shampoo you can get for summer, which is going to fully cleanse your roots while keeping your hair very hydrated, is the Moroccan Oil Extra Volume Shampoo. I swear by this product in general, but we really need that extra volume in summer so our hair doesn't get flat after two or three days. This product is formulated for fine to medium hair and it doesn't weight it down at all even though it does contain really nourishing oils. And with volume shampoos in general, I feel like they either don't do anything or they strip your scalp way too much and it wasn't the case for this shampoo, so definitely give it a try. I'm sure you've heard about how important detoxing your scalp is. If you haven't, don't worry, just let me know down in the comments and I will make a video explaining the full extent of that. For now, I quickly want to mention my hair and scalp detox for summer, which is the Way Detox Shampoo. You can use this all year round, but it is an actual must in summer because as I was saying your scalp can get oversaturated with products, it can get clogged, might have different reactions to the products that you're used to and wonder why and it's all because of the oversaturation and of the clogging and inefficient cleansing. Not so harsh on your scalp. Most of them will just really strip your scalp of every nutrient and therefore also really damage your ends, resulting in overall dehydrated hair. So if you're to start to really take care of your hair, as I was saying, start with correctly cleansing it. In summer, maybe the trickiest hair care product is conditioner because are we conditioning more than in winter or spring? Are we conditioning less? And what if our conditioner is making our hair greasy or is not hydrating it enough? These are all problems that we can solve with one simple idea. The best formula that I've discovered for my type of hair that gets it really luscious, gets it really shiny but doesn't weight it down at all while also keeping it just nourished enough is using a very lightweight conditioner and when needed a really hydrating and moisturizing mask. With this formula I'm feeding it just enough nutrients and not making it oily or greasy in fewer days than normal. And the best conditioner for this task is the Gizu one. This is their honey infused conditioner. I've talked about this product before and here we are again giving it the love that it deserves. It's honestly the only conditioner that's lightweight enough so it doesn't make especially these strands of my hair oily in like three or four days. And even though I'm using less heat on my hair because 
the ends will dry out because of the heat. It also means a lot of sun exposure, which we don't like. Not for our skin and not for our hair. This is infused with honey and a lot of other repairing ingredients. It's really great for any sort of damaged hair. And why would I need such a hydrating and thick mask, you might wonder? Inevitably, every time I go to the beach, I will get a ton of sea water in my hair. And for some reason, my hair just dislikes that a lot. It will get tangled extremely dry and nothing in this world has been able to save it so far other than the hydrating mask from Moroccan oil. I'm attaching a picture on the screen because I threw my last container out. But I'm repurchasing it tomorrow probably so my hair can be safe. This formula has taken my hair from a few weeks of extremely dry and dehydrated hair to perfect luscious shiny and glowy ends. And I haven't noticed any kind of weighing that down, which is normally the case with hair masks for me during really hot days. Now that we've stepped out of the shower, what do we do to ensure a correct blow dry? You guessed it, it's going to be thermal protection. In order not to make our hair very heavy by using a separate thermal protection product, we are going to be using the Way Living. This leave-in conditioner already contains thermal protection. It's also really softening, it will help you detangle your hair and it adds this really nice shine to it. If it's summer, I totally understand if you prefer to air dry. However, you should be still using a leave-in of this sort. I really recommend this way one because it prevents your hair from getting frizzy or from drying unequally. This is also a pre-blow dry step. It's fully optional, but if you want to add Add some extra volume and bounce to your hair, you're gonna wanna hear this. The way volume spray works at the roots of your hair mostly, that's where I apply it even though you can apply it all throughout your hair and offers you a very natural, very cute volume. You don't have to use it every single time but at least once in a few washes this gives such an elegant and effortless look. Last but not least we all want shiny hair and that's going to be guaranteed by hair oil. Make sure to keep it only on the ends of your hair as otherwise it will make your hair oilier faster. I have tried multiple formulas and the ones that I reach for most during summer are the following two. First of all, unfortunately not really popular but a really great choice and this is one of my favorite oils all year round. This is from Sabon. This is a beauty oil and you can use it on your body and on your hair as well. They have around 10 cents and you can get this oil in all of them. One that I'm currently using it's the patchouli lavender vanilla. The scent will stay in my hair all days before I rewash my hair. It's extremely nourishing and doesn't leave that oily residue on your hands, on your hair. Also the bottle is 100 milliliters and the price is really affordable for all the quantity that you get. The other oil that I love during summer is the Gizu hair oil. This is extremely viral and doesn't need an introduction. I would have loved for this to be scented as well. And maybe that's why the Sabon is actually my most reached for. This has been my foolproof summer routine and I'm really glad I could share with you guys today. Please let us know down in the comments what is your summer lineup when it comes to hair care. I'm really curious to find out your best picks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you fairies next time. Bye!